not very far from the village of Ranifas, there is another village which has achieved fame for a rather different reason. I'll give you a clue in the words of a local poet. A dead man who came to his senses at the Golden Gate focused his lenses. Said he, unless I'm raving, this place must be heaven. But then again, it could be plenty. Does it look tidy? Well, you know it should, because this is Glenty's County Donegal, winner of the Tidy Towns Competition of Ireland for the last three years in succession. In fact, since the competition started in 1958, Glenty's has reigned supreme over all the other towns and villages of Ireland. What's the secret? How do they manage for three successive years to stay at the top? Let's see if we can find out. I'll disturb you for a minute. Excuse me. Good evening to you, ma'am. I wanted to find out a bit about this tidy town. What's, well, the, what's the secret? How do you manage to keep this place well, so tidy? Just, just by 100% uh, cooperation of the people and the ably system by Father Michael Way and the, uh, the local engineer, uh, Seamus Costello and Charlie Midday, the local teacher. Yes, but after all other towns, they must have a lot of cooperation from the people and still you manage to keep on top for three years running. How do you do that? Well, that, that's a secret. We we're not going to uh, give away the secret. Uh, oh, I see. We were going to hang on to the secret, but and we hope to ha uh, have it this year again, too. <laughs> well, do you not get a bit fed up now and again with being tidy? Would you not feel sometimes that you'd like to throw a cigarette butt down on the street or well, a packet or something like well, that? Well, uh, when it's thrown down the street, it doesn't belong to us picked up again. The children or someone always picks it up again. Uh, we, we, we seldom see any litter about the streets at all, and if they do be a few about, it's soon put onto the waste paper basket. Mm. Do you collect papers every day? No, I do. Do you collect them? Uh, and where do you put them? She does not. Um, she, she's really cold, isn't she? Is she? Where do you put the papers when you collect them? In, in the letter basket. In the letter basket? In with all the letters? Mm. In with all the letters? No. <laughs> what basket do you put it into? <laughs> Oh, the basket for the litter, is it? Where are they? Up the Oh, yes, there's one over there. Good evening, guards. Do you think your father? We're trying to find out about this tidy town. Do you think it's made much difference to the people here since they won the tidy town competition? Oh, I think it has. I think the people are very, uh, uh, have uh, taken a great interest in yeah. it, and uh, I think the people are they're very cooperative, and yes, they sir. have helped, um, I think it's helped the town immensely. Yeah. Are they more law-abiding yes. since they started tidying up? Oh, yes, they're all very law abiding, of course, around this, oh, around right. Lintys here. Oh. But I think this, uh, they've, uh, they've got even better since the tidy town. What about uh, the, what about, what about the Garda Barracks? How was that? Oh, the Garda Barracks got a facelift also. Did it? It did. Are you from Lintys? You are? Ah, I'm What's sure. the secret in winning this tidy town's competition year after year? Looking after it, right? Looking after it? Yes. Well, do you not think other towns look after their places as well as this? Uh, well, I suppose they do, but uh, I think. We have a clergyman here who uh, is responsible for practically the whole thing, and he looks after it well. And it's he who drives you to it, is he it? He drives, and, uh, well, he leads, and we, we... And you follow him? We follow. Father McElroy, you're a chairman of the committee in Glenties for cleaning up, isn't that right? Yes, I am, yes. Are the people of Glenties naturally tidy, or is it only since the competition came on that they started to clean up? Well, they may be naturally tidy, but certainly they have cleaned up well for the competition, but their, their efforts at cle cleanliness and tidiness started many, many years ago. It started in preparation for the Corpus Christi, which the late parish priest introduced here way back in 1940 or 42. And at that time, they, as an act of religion, the people cleaned their houses and painted them. And from that date, I think you can uh, sort of trace the cleanliness and tidiness of Glenties that has brought the prize for mm -hmm. the last three years. But other towns have Corpus Christi processions too, and they clean up for them. Uh, how did you manage to do so specially? Well, I admit that other towns have, and they have very nice processions, but I think ours is a little bit uh, extra. There's something special about ours. The people, the shopkeepers, turn out uh, all the merchandise out of their windows and replace them with little altars, and the windows of all the houses have, uh, contain some religious objects, one kind or another. Mm. And I think it's, uh, it uh, takes the place of the flower carpets of continental processions, yes. I think, ours. You've made nearly a thousand pounds in prize money in the last three years. What improvements have you to show in the town as a result of that? 
Well, uh, of course, it has got to be spent in, in uh, providing something that would attract and appeal to tourists. And we have the first £300 was spent in the construction of a miniature park at the bottom of the town with seats and shrubs and a path through it. Mm -hmm. And then this year we have provided a, f uh, a lily pond and fountain and spray, which is on every day during the month of August. Yes. And then we have also encouraged or urged the county council to do certain other jobs, like the providing of steps or terrace steps leading up to a higher part of the town, which have added considerably to the appearance of the town. Yes. Do you preach tidiness? Well, I have on occasions preached it, and uh, I've I'll tried to illustrate it by pointing out the tidiness of uh, what I, the Holy Family in Nazareth. I'm sure, despite all the shavings that St. Joseph made in his work, there were, the place was generally kept tidy, and you can't imagine our Blessed Lady being anything else but tidy. And I put that mm -hmm. uh, before them, and I've asked them to emulate our, uh, the Holy Family in that way, as mm -hmm. I hope they're emulating her in the other way. Are they a race apart, this people of the tidiest town in Ireland? Because, you know, it must be a rather constricting experience to have to live up to a reputation for tidiness. Most of us, after now, are not exactly born with that virtue. From the tidiest town in Ireland, good night. We'll be back again next week at the same time. Till then, good night and God bless you.